Uh, Gareth, wow. Uh, that game had pretty much everything. It was tense, it was nervous. How did you feel when that goal went in? Yeah, I, nothing more than we deserve, you know. After we rolled the first half like we did, I told the boys at half-time, I wanted to tell them how to play the first half better, but I thought, what's the point in that? Because we're now in the second half. You've got to tell them how to win the second half. And, and I think that that riding the storm in that first half was really important and it was it was really a game of two halves. The wind played a huge factor today, you know. We couldn't really get past the uh, the Sheffield Wednesday defence first half, but second half I knew we'd have chances, I knew we'd create because uh, the conditions, you know, it's hard and we put a full press on them second half so they couldn't get behind us and Chris Farino and Tapazola they had to win their headers, which they did. They, they you know, we, we really stepped on them and uh, I mean, it's a brilliant goal to score. I think my, my son will call it a sweaty goal, I think. Uh, that's what they call it on FIFA now. So, um, But uh, it was a brilliant run from Hoggs and, and, and an awareness that he's got, you know, what a great assist and Jordan Abita, you know, the, the goal scorer. But um, I thought we uh, we edged it, but it could have been a draw easily. You know, Sheffield have come and they're a championship side. Every player is championship caliber in their team. So that makes that result so sweet for us. Um, tough tough game today and uh, you know the table is absolutely mental I can't believe we're on 80 points and we are where we are um, we're gonna have to go again next week and hope some favours are done midweek uh, what a mental lead this is but I'm um, really proud I said judges after 46 you can start judging after 45 if you want because 80 points is phenomenal in this division but we need that three points next Saturday to uh, to stay in these playoffs and, and we want to finish in the playoffs. We want to do it for the fans. You know, there's some tough games coming up in other fixtures elsewhere. Um, if, if we don't get in on 83 points, then I don't know what more we'd have to do. 84, obviously. But uh, it's been a, a great season and a brilliant end. The fans were fantastic. The place was full. That's what we can do when this place is rocking. So thank you to everyone who got behind us today. In a game that was just incredibly frenetic, fast paced, the calmness of Wickham's goal will, will really please you with the quality of the attacking yeah. play. The, the, that's what my message at half time was. Can we get on the ball a little bit more? I thought first half we tried to go a little bit long when it was on to play. Listen, people bill us as direct, people bill us as physical. Darren Moore's picked the biggest team he possibly could today. I saw that. Um, and, and they've tried to step up and gone against us, but there's other ways to win that game. That, you know, one of the smallest players on the pitch has got through and, and squared a fantastic ball. Um, we needed to really weather that storm first half because we weren't getting out. But second half, some real good composure, some real good moments on the ball. Um, you know, this place is developing and we're growing as a football club. We've changed our style, even though everyone tells me we haven't. Um, we have and, uh, and we, we need to keep progressing because it's a fantastic place to be. And, and you know, with the Keurigs in charge, there's only one way for this football club and it's up. One more game to go of the regular season. Tuesday night, what will you be doing? <laughs> what do you think I'll be doing? I won't be out walking the dog. I'll be watching those results come in. I'm, <laughs> I'm a human being, you know, and uh, I, I need to, I need to, you know, hope and pray that we get favours elsewhere. Um, but also, we got to do our job on Saturday. So I'll be, I'll be semi watching Burton, watching what what it will take to break them down away from home, and uh, you know, hoping um, that we get that little bit of luck that probably we uh, we deserve. I think with a with a form team at the moment going into the end of the season and that's fantastic for Wickham Wonders, you know, and a, br a brilliant occasion for everyone at the football club. It's, it's been it's been super. Well, enjoy this week if you can and we'll speak later in the week ahead of Burton. Can't wait, Phil. Let me calm down. I'm meant to be singing tonight at a party, but maybe there'll be a bit of, uh, I don't know, ACDC with this hoarseness, you know, I can't, <laughs> so I can manage. But no, brilliant. Thank you to everyone who's, uh, who's supported us, everyone who's got behind us today and all through the season at home at Adams Park. We're going to need a big travelling contingent on the way to Burton. We're going to need you up there. Um, it's a tough place to go. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank obviously will want to get a scalp on us. But, you know, like I say, a little bit of slice of luck might just get us over the line. Still got a job to do.